Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Airplanes, helicopters, drones, all of them are part of the air force of the countries of the world. Sometimes, some workhorses show themselves so well that they have been in the ranks for decades, performing combat missions perfectly well. However, progress doesn't stand still, and some technologies become obsolete, demanding more innovative solutions in return. Today, we will show you the 10 most incredible military aviation developments. Tarsus 25 The Tarsus 25 is a light tactical unmanned aerial vehicle designed and developed by AirTech Solutions, a global consultancy and engineering firm specialized in aeronautics and defense systems. The UAV has been developed for surveillance, monitoring, and target recognition missions, along with light combat applications. It is a remotely piloted aircraft system solution available in multiple payload configurations. The aerial platform includes a primary real-time video or data link that accommodates the communication frequency facilitating local needs. The Tarsus 25 has a cruise speed of 60 miles per hour, 100 kilometers an hour, and can operate in adverse weather conditions. The UAV has an operational range of 93 miles, 150 kilometers, and can reach a maximum altitude of 13,123 feet, 4,000 meters above sea level. U.S. Military GPS the GPS Block IIF satellites are the next generation of global positioning system space vehicles built by Boeing for the U.S. Air Force. The U.S. Air Force and Missile Systems Center initially placed an order for the development of 33 GPS Block IIF satellites in 1996, but later the contract was modified and the number was reduced to 12. The 12th GPS IIF satellite was launched aboard United Launch Alliance Atlas V launch vehicle in February 2016. It also marked the launch of 50th GPS satellite delivered by Boeing on orbit to U.S. Air Force. The space segment of the GPS program consists of 24 operational satellites in six circular orbits at an altitude of 12,550 miles, 20,200 kilometers. Aerosond HQ The Aerosond HQ is a vertical takeoff and landing small unmanned aircraft system designed and manufactured by Textron Systems. The UAV is capable of performing expeditionary land and sea-based operations. It is designed to perform missions in some of the world's most challenging environments, including desert heat and Arctic cold. The drone can also deliver simultaneous day and night full motion video, communications relay, and signals intelligence, while carrying customer selected payload in a single flight. The maximum wingspan of the drone is 3.7 meters and it weighs 105 pounds, 47.6 kilograms. The ceiling and maximum takeoff elevation of the system is 10,000 feet, 3,048 meters, and 7,000 feet, 2,133 meters respectively. The drone has an endurance of 10 hours with multi-INT payload. It can fly at an airspeed between 51 miles per hour, 82 kilometers an hour, and 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers an hour. Hydra 70 the Hydra 70 rocket system is a family of 2.75-inch unguided air-to-surface rockets derived from the Mark IV, Mark 40 folding fin aerial rocket developed in the 1940s. It is the most commonly used helicopter-launched weapon system in the world. The Hydra 70 lacks precision when compared to other guided missile systems such as the Hellfire II. The Hydra 70, however, is less expensive. The U.S. Army initially planned to reduce the production of the systems, but revised its decision considering their cost efficiency. Hydra 70 rockets are fired from the 19-tube rocket launchers. A 149.2 million contract modification was awarded to General Dynamics for Hydra 70 rockets, motors, and related components in June 2018. The rocket system can fire at a speed of 2,425 feet a second, 739 meters a second. 
Maximum range of the system is 11,500 yards, 10,500 meters. Bayraktar TB2 The Bayraktar TB2 is a medium altitude and long range tactical unmanned aerial vehicle system manufactured by Baykar Makina for the Turkish Armed Forces. Each Bayraktar TB2 system consists of six aerial vehicles, two ground control stations, three ground data terminals, two remote video terminals, and ground support equipment. The UAV has a length of 6.5 meters, wingspan of 12 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of 650 kilograms. The power plant integrates a 100 horsepower internal combustion engine driving a two-bladed variable pitch propeller. The tactical UAV has a range of more than 93 miles 150 kilometers, and can fly at a maximum altitude of 27,030 feet 8,238 meters. It has a maximum speed ranging between 80 miles per hour, 128 kilometers an hour, and 138 miles per hour, 222 kilometers an hour, and endurance of 27 hours. UH-72A Lakota the UH-72A Lakota is a light utility helicopter specifically designed to meet the requirements of the U.S. Army. Based on the EC-145 multi-role helicopter, the UH-72A serves the Army principally for logistics and support missions within the U.S. It is also used by the Army National Guard for homeland security and disaster response missions and medical evacuations. The modular design of the UH-72A Lakota Light Utility Helicopter allows the fast and efficient installation of a range of mission modules. The cockpit accommodates a crew of two and is fitted with two Simula energy-absorbing cockpit seats supplied by BAE Systems. The U.S. Army placed a $122 million order for 15 UH-72A Lakota training and support platforms in March 2020, which are scheduled to be delivered by August 2022. Black Eagle The Black Eagle is a rotary unmanned aerial vehicle developed by Steadicopter, an Israeli manufacturer of advanced unmanned robotic helicopters. The Black Eagle family includes Black Eagle 50, Black Eagle 25E, and Black Eagle 50E models. The UAV serves as a robotic observation system for use in military, civil, and homeland security missions. It is designed to support maritime and land-based intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance missions. The unmanned aerial vehicle has a maximum airspeed of 80 miles per hour, 128 kilometers an hour, and cruising speed of 52 miles per hour, 84 kilometers an hour. The Black Eagle can operate in temperatures ranging between negative 10 degrees Celsius and plus 45 degrees Celsius, and has a service ceiling of 10,000 feet. 3,048 meters. Boeing TX Boeing TX aircraft, officially called the T-7A Red Hawk, is a new advanced pilot training system being offered by Boeing in partnership with Saab for the TX Advanced Pilot Training Program. The TX aircraft is intended to replace the aging T-38 trainer fleet of the U.S. Air Force. The USAF unveiled the TX program requirements in March 2015, which was followed by the release of a draft request for proposals in July. The USAF plans to replace the 431 T-38s with a new TX aircraft. The initial operational capability of the new fleet is projected for 2024. A modern, fighter-like cockpit equipped with flexible avionics is integrated into the trainer. The TX aircraft is powered by a GE F404 engine, offering higher power, improved fuel efficiency, and superior mission capability. Raybird 3 
Raybird 3 is a long-range unmanned aerial system designed and manufactured by Skyton, a Ukrainian aeronautical products manufacturer. The UAS can carry out a range of operations, including real-time aerial video surveillance, photography, and other applications. It can also be used in support of operational tactical tasks. The drone can operate in different weather conditions with temperatures ranging between negative 20 degrees Celsius and plus 45 degrees Celsius. The long-range unmanned aircraft can carry a maximum payload of up to 5 kilograms. Optional payload packages include radio relay and electronic warfare countermeasure equipment. The cruise speed and maximum speed of the Raybird 3 are 74 miles per hour, 120 kilometers an hour, and 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers an hour, respectively, while the range is 150 miles, 240 kilometers, in the direct control mode. Alpin Alpin is a long-range unmanned helicopter being developed jointly by UAVOS and Titra, a Turkish engineering company. The unmanned aerial vehicle is intended to support both civilian and security missions. It is also capable of delivering cargo to hard-to-reach areas without airfields. The design of the Alpin unmanned helicopter is based on the manned Helisport Italian CH-7 helicopter. The Alpin has a length of 7 meters, a width of 1.5 meters, a height of 2.35 meters, and a rotor diameter of 6.28 meters. The maximum cruise speed of the aerial vehicle is 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers an hour. The Alpin can achieve maximum range of 521 miles, 840 kilometers, and fly at altitudes of up to 16,404 feet, 5,000 meters. It offers a maximum endurance of 7 hours. That's all friends, thanks for watching! Write in the comments which of the developments you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.